Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the Pennyworth channel. If you guys are watching this, it is because you have decided that you want to be an admin on the Pure Battle Group. Congratulations. Watching this video gets you one step closer. Um, this is not about Poke Dollars or a giveaway. Not this moment. Uh, what you guys are watching are the requirements and prerequisites for becoming an admin of the Pure Battle Group. The most competitive group, hands down, on Facebook. Uh, I know because I've been to most of the groups. They're alright. They battle sometimes. They do some giveaways. They're pretty cool. But uh, our group is a battle group, uh, almost exclusively. Of course, there are giveaways and shinies and little fun stuff like that. But we're here to battle. <clears throat> most importantly, we are here to win. I can tell you guys what uh, our group is exactly. Uh, we do have a full knowledge of the VGC environment, that is the official Nintendo, um, uh, the official competition guide for Nintendo, <clears throat> and ORAS, XY, um, you know, uh, if you're looking for other generations, you would want to go to Smogon. We also have a, a full program on Smogon battles. Uh, we do have an integrated system with with showdown also so we do do showdown battles they're pretty cool also um, let me get right into this content that we're gonna cover today though today we're gonna cover uh, the first thing that you guys need to do in order to become an admin is that you have to prove to either myself uh, I, I created the group myself uh, because of poor poor experience I've had on other groups uh, like having a bunch of trolls and a bunch of scammers and just you know just them being unsavory groups all around, um, kicking you out for dumb stuff, uh, battling in leagues, and then they pull out some rule like, well, you didn't beat me 100%, or you move spammed, or you didn't, you know, you, you had a type advantage. Uh, we don't do that. Uh, if you win, we believe in sportsmanship. Absolutely. We believe in sportsmanship. A good sportsmanship is like, if you lose, you motherfucker, you lost. If you lose, you need to own up, and you need to face that shit. You got your ass beat. You need to go home, train your pokes a little bit better, and come back and battle again. So there are no so there are no sore losers in pure battle. Uh, another thing that is a prerequisite for members and for admins alike is your activity in the game. If you are inactive in the group more than a month, you will likely be kicked out of the group. Um, you can join again later, or you know something like that. That's never a problem. But if you're inactive, you're probably going to get kicked out at the end of the month. Um, in fact, there is a kick coming in a few days. Watch out for that. If you have not been active, I will probably kick you myself or my good friend and admin of Pure Battle also. Uh, Alex Robinson will be kicking you this November. Um, the first thing you guys need to do in order to be tested as an admin, uh, there are going to be three phases, guys. Three, I have four fingers up, but there are three phases to the admin test. The first one is knowing how to successfully breed a Pokemon. Um, when I say successful breed, I don't just mean like hatch 50 billion eggs and they all suck. I mean that you take a Pokemon project. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to send a private message either to myself or an email to me or to another one of the admins who are easy to find on the Facebook page, which is also in the description. You can email us, let us know, hey, I want to try out for the admin program. The next thing that's going to happen is that they are going to give you a project. They're going to ask you to breed for example, a Politoed with Encore and I don't know what other egg move it might have. So, but they're going to ask you to breed something with an egg move with five to six IVs. If you can do that, if you can give them a Pokemon with an egg move and six IVs, then congratulations, you have passed the first phase of the test. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys what it is now. You do need to send a private message or an email. And when you do that, we will give you your own exclusive project. You will have seven days to complete that project. And when you do, you bring it to us. We take it to the IV judge. We check out the moves. Uh, if it checks out, boom, you get to move on to the second phase of our admin program. Uh, the things you need for to, in order to get this done, you're probably going to need a six IV ditto, maybe. Uh, you're going to need a ton of pokes, a copy of the actual... Uh, project that we want you to make for us and it'll most likely be with a hidden ability also so you guys are going to need to be able to breed hidden abilities um, IVs 
and you're gonna need to be able to breed egg moves onto Pokemon. We do not want a bunch of sorry admins in our group, so if you don't know how to breed, um, go go read one of the breeding guides right now because I can tell you if you do not pass the first phase of our admin exam, you will immediately there there's no exceptions you will be denied um, your application will be thrown out and you will have to wait for until you're ready until you're ready to breed something for us and give it to us and let it have six IVs hidden ability egg moves <clears throat> you will be rejected for the program so go read a breeding guide if you want to be one of us do that there's a lot of perks to being one of our admins um, for one you get unlimited power save services. Um, we have everything. Uh, we literally have everything from like Volcanion to like, what's the first Pokemon? Bulbasaur is number one, I guess, and Volcanion is like seven something. We have it all. We have it all in six IVs. We have it all shiny. We have it hacked. We have it legit. Um, we have it all. We know it all. And we only want admins in our group who also, who, who are ready to have it all and know it all. So only the best. Are, are being admitted into this program. Um, if you're intimidated, just, you know, like I said, go read the breeding guide and try again later. Uh, no one's going to stop you. Uh, things that will get you kicked out of this group are, like I said, being inactive, um, scamming people, of course. You see that our group is really small. It's small for a reason uh, because we kick, there's no scammers around. Um, if you guys want to talk trash to each other, that's totally fine. We just want to make sure that it's mutual. You guys can talk all the trash. You get to talk about how people are getting wrecked. As long as it's mutual and the person you're talking trash to doesn't mind, it's totally welcome. Um, you guys can cuss and fight if you want to. As long as no one cares, I mean, we don't either. We don't care. So it's, it's cool. You guys can be yourselves. You guys can have fun. Um, we also do prefer people who are, like, at least 13 years old. I don't want... We don't even want, like... People who are super young in the group, if you're going to be crying and whining and bitching about stuff, we just don't want you in the group. And I don't know any six-year-olds who are super competitive and great battlers anyway, who know how to breed, who, who battle with actual uh, relevant Pokemon in the metagame. So we really don't want them here. We make exceptions, of course. But um, another prerequisite, guys, is, you know, try to be um, mature. You know, we don't want any immature people in our group. Um, yeah, so if you battle with six RCSs all the time and, and, and like, uh, Mega Kyogre and Mega Groudon and all of them on your team every time and you expect to win, you're probably not going to make it in this program. So I apologize. It will not be for you. Now that you have got past the first phase of our admin program, the second phase is going to be EB training, guys. If... If you do not know how to EV train, you have no business being an admin in this group because all of the admins, they've, they've all gone through the same test you guys have, um, except the people who've been here with me for like more than a year or who, you know, we, we can, you can tell that people know their shit when you talk to them, when you battle them, when you play with them, when you interact with them on social media, you know that they know their stuff. It's, it's easy to tell. Like I can tell right away if you know what you're talking about when I hear you talk about the game. So you need to know how to EV train your Pokemon. So once you're done with your breeding project, you come back to me or whichever admin is handling your your application. You go back to them and you're like, okay, here you go. Here is that Polytoad with Encore you asked me for. Boom, it's five, six IVs. It has a, a hidden power. It has egg moves and it has a hidden ability. The next thing they're going to ask you to do is they're going to tell you to take that same Polytoad and give it, for example, um, 250 IVs in special attack, 100 IVs in speed, and the other 156 in defense. Now, if you can demonstrate that you effectively know how to EV train your Pokemon in the game, and if you can pass the second phase of that test, you will be admitted into the third phase of that test. Now, you guys might be wondering why. Why do I need to know all this stuff? Why... Why do I need to know how to get egg moves, hidden abilities, hidden powers, uh, IVs? Why do I, why do I, natures? Why do I need to know all this? It is a battle group, guys. It is a battle group. I understand that a lot, of, most of us here have a power saves already anyway. 
But if you have some dude with a power saves who doesn't know shit about the game, he's not going to win in battles. He's not going to make a good admin on this group. He's not going to be able to teach anyone else how to battle, teach anyone else how to breed. And when a group or community has questions about breeding, about EVs, about IVs, about EV training, about hidden abilities, about moves, about the mechanics of the game, when people have these kinds of questions, if you don't know your shit, you're not going to be able to answer those questions. And that's something that I want to avoid. The, if you guys meet an admin that doesn't know his shit, bring it to my attention. Uh, but those admins do not exist here right now, guys. I can tell you right now, all of my friends, shout outs to Yair, Alexander Lenga, uh, Gary Stout, Alex Robinson, Alan Pacheco, uh, anybody else who I forget, forgot. <clears throat> we all know our shit. We all know how to EV train. We all know how to battle. We all know the game mechanics. Uh, we all know how to EV train. We all know about IVs, hidden powers. Shout out to my main man, Eric Pope. Also, you thought I forgot about him. Shout out to Eric Pope. I love you, dude. Um, so th there's a lot of users in this community who are going to ask you questions about EV training. Like, what's the best EVs for my for my Polytoad, for, for my Kangaskhan, for my whatever, my Rodham? And if you're going to be an admin on this group, I'm going to need you guys to be able to answer those questions. Or to honestly say, you know, I don't know. Let me ask Jason. Let me ask Alex. Let me, you know, I need you guys to be able to give a good answer. Because if people are asking you what somebody's hidden ability is, or if they're asking you what IVs they should have on a certain Pokemon, or if these moves are viable in battle, in doubles, and singles, and you can't answer those questions, you don't have any business being an admin on this group. You can be a member. That's totally fine. You can be a member and not know shit. We don't mind that. Um, but if you're going to be an admin of a competitive battle group like this one, you're going to have to know how to EV train. You're going to have to know how to use hordes. You're going to have to know how to use battle, or excuse me, the power items, power anklet, power bracer, power belt. You're going to have to know how to use all those things, how to breed with those things, what the Destiny Knot does, what the Everstone does. You're going to have to be able to know explain and demonstrate in detail what these items do, what effect they have on your Pokemon stats, what effect they have in breeding, and what effect they will have in the aftermath when you're in a battle. If you guys are going to be an admin here, you need to know this stuff. Or we, we just don't want you. We don't want to deal with you guys. We have a very exclusive chat room where only we kick it at, where when we have like some big brain-busting questions, we ask each other, and we usually... Together we can come up with almost anything. Uh, it's great. And we have everything, like I was saying. So, you need to know how to EV train. If you do not know how to EV train, guys, do not be afraid. We will teach you. Join up. Be a member. Ask a question. Boom. We will help you guys. We can teach you this stuff. We have the knowledge. We know how to do it. We've been doing it for a long time. And even though most of us have power saves, believe it or not, we know our shit. Like, I, I used to spend, like, an hour to 30 minutes trying to get a one Pokemon with an egg move and a hidden ability and a certain nature and the IVs are just right and the hidden I used to do this. I know this. And every experienced player, everyone in our admin group has gone through this also. So we know. We know. And if you're going to be part of the team, you have to know also. You do not want any scrubs or any noobs. We have had a lot of them. Uh, Chica Fazbear, uh, Mariska Russell, um, just a lot of, like, just really bad admins who just embarrass us. They suck at battling. They can't answer any questions right. I mean, they embarrass me. You know, they, they embarrass me. They embarrass the integrity of the group. And they make the rest of my admins mad. So, we don't want that. You gotta know your shit. If you don't know how to EV train, guys, there are a ton of EV training guides online. You can check them out. I'll even make one for you guys. Or you can, again... Ask one of the admins on the group. When you do pass the second phase of our admin test, you're going to enter into the final phase. Everybody's favorite phase of the admin test is the battle test. <sighs> the battle... Oh, man, just this is a battle group. This is a battle group. And we win a lot. If you guys have already been here for a while, you know that we do not like to lose. We like being competitive. We like having our smog on tiers really high. We love to be at the top of the VGC ladder. We really, it's, see, I'm just, man, I get, I get excited. Like, I'm glowing just because of how excited I am. 
I mean, I love getting six and O sweeps on people. I love when I can decimate my opponent's team with one Pokemon. When I can sweep his whole six. It's beautiful, man. When I can perfectly predict all of my opponent's moves, it's a good feeling. You know, and who likes to lose? I mean, think about it. No one likes to lose. So if you came on this channel as a member, hoping that you would become better, smarter, and that you would win more battles, that is definitely what's going to happen, guys. We do have a league. We battle all the time. Um, that's what the group is all about. So, after you have effectively proven that you know how to breed uh, hidden abilities, egg moves, IVs, when you've proven that, and you've proven that you know how to EV train your Pokemon, you can do super training, um, you can do horde training, you know how to use the power items, the macho brace. Um, when you have proven all of those things, you will come into the final phase, the most important phase of being a pure battle admin, which is battling. You're going to battle, one of, and it doesn't have to be me, guys, but you can email me every way to like, Jay, oh, Jason. You battle one of us. You don't have to win, because we know we're good. You don't have to win. But you have to not be sorry. If you're a really sorry battler, if you're using Hydro Pump on my Rotom Wash, come on, how you, it's like, I'm just like, really, you know? Or if you're using Rock Slide on my Crocodile, or if you're using, like, uh, uh, fighting moves on my Gengar, it's like, what do you, do? you know what I'm saying? What are you doing if you're using freaking fire moves on my rocks? It's not, you're not, you don't, you don't know how to battle. You don't know what you're doing. So, you battle one of us. You don't have to win. You just have to not suck. You really, you have to not suck. You have to be pretty good. You don't even have to be an expert, but you have to at least know about type advantages. Type advantages are very important. You have to know about the game mechanics. We usually want to see some kind of priority moves on your team because priority moves are great. You have to be able to control speed or be able to control attack. You have to be able... You have to, at some point in the match, have had control over the battle. If you if you just lost control from, like, the first turn, and you were just in a tailspin for the whole battle, this group is not for you guys. I'm sorry. It is extremely hard to become an admin here. It used to be easy, but we had some really sorry-ass admins. So because of those sorry-ass admins, we are making it hard to become an admin here. You will be able to get uh, infinite power save services. Um... Of course, you're gonna be you're gonna get into our chat. You're gonna be able to moderate and uh, dictate what happens in the group itself. You can ask the other admins. I trust them. When I'm not around, the admins are just like Jason. It's like a bunch of little Jasons running around. You know, uh, their opinion is just as important as mine because I know most of us share the same opinion about battling, about the game, uh, and about the way we want the group to be run. Also, we have a vision for this group. The vision of this group is to be com uh, competitive battlers. We don't just want to give out a bunch of shinies, and we don't just want all, like, wonder trading, and just do Pokemon on me, and, you know, like, all that cutesy little stuff that comes in the game. That's not the kind of group we want to be. There's a ton of groups like that. And that stuff is fun. We can participate in that kind of stuff sometimes. But this group, it, what, I, what we want to see on this group is you guys posting, like, who's down to battle right now? Who wants to throw a free for all? Who wants to have a tourney? This is the kind of mindset that me and my admins have all the time. If you have the same kind of mindset that we do, that competitive, I don't like losing, kind of, and you have good sportsmanship, and you're smart, we want you on our team. We really do. We're going to fight. We're going to beg. If we see how good you are, so we might even come and beg you to be an admin for us. So, uh, as you can see, little rich boy Antoine here, he wants to battle me. But he pulled out a muck against my Giratina. What's the matter with this dude? I, I got a Giratina, bitch. So, if you can show up in a battle with us, and if you win, I mean, hands down, if you can beat us with regular competitive Pokemon, and we know that you know your shit about, uh, if you know a little something about Smogon, you know a little bit something about, about VGC, you just have to know enough about the game and the mechanics to not suck. That's all you really have to do, guys. And we will help mold and shape you into a great, uh, a great sweeping, wrecking ball, train wrecking, silver bullet, beat the shit out of everybody battler. We can do that, guys. We've done it before. Um, you need to know how to battle, though, guys. So, you know, go make a checklist. Um, 
I will do a giveaway after this, guys. So if you want, you can just shut it off now. If you don't care about being an admin, you know, just shut off the video. It's not a big deal. Um, I won't blame you. But if you do want to be an admin, there's a link in the description right now. Check out the Facebook page. It is down there right now. Uh, just type something like uh, applying for admin position. Boom. And we will hop on that post like fire ants. And we will give you your homework. And we will test you. And if you pass, we will pass you immediately. We will host a ceremony for you. You will be showered, showered with Poke Dollars and Power Save Services. And it will be amazing, man. It will be amazing. You could be part of the most competitive battling group in North America. I know this because there's no other, man, there's no other battle groups. You can, you can ask the other battle groups, like, hey, do you guys know Jason? They're going to be like, oh, man, that motherfucker. Oh, hell, they're going to be like, man, he's 6 OG. So that's, that's the kind, that's the kind of group we are, guys. It's a battle group, extremely competitive. We want to battle. And if you want to share in this vision with me and my friends, we would love to have you on the admin team. Uh, check out the link. Drop your application today. And... Yeah, man. I hope to see. I hope to see you guys there, man. I hope to see. We we need some new admins. We have kicked out a bunch of admins. We're growing a lot. I am progressively more and more busy on YouTube and on Facebook and on Google Plus and on Hangouts, and it's crazy, man. And then I have a life to live also and bills to pay. So you know, check it out, guys. Um, go read up a breeding guide. Go read up an EV training guide. Uh, learn about the game mechanics. And come back, we will test you, and you can be one of us. Good luck, everyone. Peace.